Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I really just wanted to sit down today and just have a little girl time, have a little chatty video about some new purchases, a few things that I've been loving, kind of catch you guys up. I know my filming has been a little bit sporadic. Things at home have been just nuts with the kids starting back to school. Kaysen started going back to school in person last week. Lainey started preschool this week. Lainey started her first dance class this week. She tried out a dance class. She's starting dance um, officially next week. I'm so excited for her. It's her first like extracurricular activity outside of like swim lessons, but I don't really count that. Um, so I'm super excited about her doing dance. She is doing a ballet tap and tumble class once a week starting next week. Um, Lexi got her driver's license this week. Kaysen lost his first tooth. It has been crazy, but now that all the kids are back in school, things are starting to go back to normal a little bit for us, which I am so thankful for. And my kids are so much like just happier and full of life now that they like get to get out of the house, they get to be around kids their own age. It's just been so good for them to get back into school and feel some sort of normalcy um so that means i have a little bit more time to film now the kids were home for six months straight and it was just crazy and really hard to film so i was really excited to sit down today to share with you some new things some things that i'm loving um that sort of thing so i want to talk about my hair i got my hair done yesterday i got my hair done back in april so it's been about five months, which is a little sooner than I normally get it done. I usually get my hair done between every six or seven months. But back in April, I decided to go a lot blonder. I put a lot more blonde in my hair. I get balayage on my hair and I went with a full. I typically get a partial. I got a full back in April and I was kind of bored. You know, we were in the thick of the quarantine and all that. So I wanted to do something fun and different. Um, so I did the blonde and that was fun and I liked it, but I wanted to go back more to my natural color. Um, the brown, the dark that you see in my hair is my natural hair color. So we cut out over 50% of the blonde and put my natural back in. We did leave some blonde obviously, and we toned it to get rid of the brassiness and to make it a little bit cooler. Um, but I love it. I love my darker hair. I was telling my husband yesterday, the older that I get, the more I love and appreciate like my natural hair color, my natural skin color. Like I don't like to be super tan anymore. I don't like to be super blonde anymore. You know, we go through phases, things like that. So um, I am really loving my hair. She did a great, great job. And then I just got a trim and then we added a little bit of texture at the end when it was dry, just to give it a little bit movement and um, to get some weight off because I have a lot of hair and my hair can be really heavy. So I wanted to throw that out there. I am loving the dark. I just, I really like it. So I'm really happy with that. So I guess I'm going to start with some new things. The Delaney started school on Tuesday. So it was like the first day that I was free. So I was like, I want to go to Nordstrom and buy something. So I was planning to go to Sephora too, but because of Corona, I guess like the mall and the stores have changed their hours. So some stores open at 10, some stores open at 11. So I didn't get to go to Sephora, but I went to Nordstrom and then I went to Ulta. So um, I'm gonna share with you some things that I picked up from Nordstrom. And the only beauty items that I picked up from Nordstrom are from Laura Mercier. And they gave me this beautiful little Laura Mercier bag. And I was like, hello, when did you start doing that? Um, but I picked up a foundation. It has been a while since I've gotten a new foundation. So I wanted to try the Laura Mercier Flawless Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And um, I've used, I think it's the Flawless Fusion Foundation and I've liked it, but it's very, very matte. So I wanted to try the Radiant Foundation. It's the foundation that I'm wearing today and I've really been liking it. I've worn it the past few days. My shade is two in one cashew. It's a very good color match for me. Um, I really, really like it. So it's just, it goes on looking a little bit more like natural soft matte and then a little bit of radiance pops through. I actually have on a lot of Laura Mercier. So I brought my stuff out to share with you what um, I'm wearing for makeup for the day. And then I went in to get the translucent loose setting powder from Laura Mercier. It's been a long time since, since I've used it, but they had a new color out and the lady kind of convinced me to try this one. It's the translucent honey. Um, it looks kind of scary in the pot 
because it looks kind of like really peachy and orangey, but I used this as my setting powder all over today and it worked out beautifully. It looks kind of dark in the pot. There you go. Looks very dark and very warm, but it it's a very good match for me. So I'm gonna swatch a little bit of it for you if I can. So it doesn't go on as dark and it is a little bit of a translucent powder, but it's just a, got a hint of warmth to it and it's not, you know, cause their, their regular translucent powder does kind of have a white cast to it. Um, but I'm really surprised by this. So this is the translucent honey. Um, it looks great. It has, y'all, it has been so long since I have strayed from my Charlotte Tilbury. Um, airbrush powder as a full face setting powder, but I'm loving this and I don't know what it is, but as I get older, my face has been getting a little bit more oily. I know it has something to do with the humidity in the summertime because I am a little bit more oily in the summer, but this controls my oil breakthrough a lot more. I get oily like right in here and then my forehead, basically my T-zone gets pretty oily, but this has been holding off the oils um, a little bit longer and I just love it. It like really smoothed out my face. It really smoothed out my pores. I love it. When I got home with it and opened it up, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be way too dark, but it looks really, really nice. So if you are like a light to medium or medium skin tone, try the translucent honey. I do not use it underneath my eyes. I like a brighter under eye. So I just put this everywhere except for where I uh, except for underneath my eyes and I have been loving it. So I'm super happy that I tried that. I would have not tried that if the lady at the counter um, didn't suggest it. So I'm really happy with it. I, that with the um, Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation, I feel like it's a beautiful, beautiful base combo. I, I really am happy with my base. So I definitely need to share with you guys my makeup of the day because I'm really loving this base. Okay, let's move on to Ulta. Um, I went in wanting to pick this up. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. It's a deep conditioner, basically. It has been forever since I've used this, and it really is the best. It is the best deep conditioning hair mask. I've been using the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask, but I wanted to try this one again and I used it the night before I got my hair done and immediately could tell a difference. It makes my hair so, so soft. I use the Miracle Leave-In Treatment um, after I wash my hair for a detangler, heat protectant, leave-in conditioner. My hair just really, really loves the It's a 10 product. So I definitely can't stray from this either. Like I use the Miracle Leave-In Treatment every single time I wash my hair and I need to use this exclusively as my deep conditioner because it really is the best on my hair. I absolutely love it. This next one is kind of a surprise buy. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Mini. Um, this is the Shade and Light Contour Duo. This is the light. It's got Lucid and Sombre are the colors. So I remember buying or having the big Kat Von D contour palette a long time ago, and I loved it. I used it to death. I think I bought two in a row and hit pan on both of them, but it's been forever since I have used her contour powders, and I didn't want the big palette. So um, she came out with these a long time ago, and by the way, they've changed the name of the, well, this one still says Kat Von D, but I'm pretty sure the name has changed because she's not associated with the brand anymore and the products are now being sold at Ulta. But this is the um, contour duo. I used the setting powder underneath my eyes and everywhere in my T-zone that I put concealer today, and I don't ever do that. So I have definitely changed up my base over the last few days, but I'm really loving the change because it has been forever since I have changed my concealer setting powder and just my all over face powder. So it's been a fun change, but this is a beautiful powder to set under my eyes and to set in my T-zone. It's very brightening. I really, really love it. It doesn't cause me any creasing. It's not um, dry. It doesn't look drying or anything. It's just beautiful. And then this is the contour shade that I used today. I did not use any cream contour today. I just used this and then the Laura Mercier bronzer on top, but this is a, gorgeous contour duo. There's three different shades, light, medium, and dark. And like I said, I'm using the light. So I've been loving this and I really love the packaging. It's a nice thick plastic packaging. 
this is raised and embossed. It's just really nice. So um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've used the Kat Von D contour products, but I remember loving that palette. Um, so I don't know, I had some points and I had a $10 coupon, so I just decided to go ahead and get this and it covered the price of it. So I've really been loving that um, and I just think that that as a setting powder for my concealer and then the translucent honey from Laura Mercier with that um, foundation is just a beautiful base. Absolutely love it. The next thing is really random, it's a deodorant, but it's the Kopari deodorant in the original scent. So, you know, everybody always talks about how important it is to switch to a natural deodorant. And I've tried it once before and it was an absolutely awful situation. It was an awful experience. I tried the native deodorant and y'all, it broke my armpits out so bad. And it was so painful. I will never, ever, ever again touch that deodorant. And it scared me off from trying natural deodorants. But a lot of people, swear by the Kapari deodorant and I've been using it for a few weeks. I have had no um, irritation. Like the things that happened to me with the native deodorant, I have not had with this. Native broke me out. My armpits were so painful. And um, when I would work out, I would just, it, it, this is TMI and it's disgusting, but it would like melt off of me and I would just be soaked and my armpits would rub together and it would just be so painful. This definitely, I have to get used, I had to get used to the feeling of it and I'm still getting used to it, but it's gotten better. I'm used to like the Dove deodorant where it's a cream, but it's got like a powder finish. So I feel really dry. This you feel wet a little bit because it's like a coconut oil base, um, but it does dry down. It's clear. I don't get any marks on my clothes or anything like that. And I love the way that it smells. It smells so good and it's like this brown color, um, but it doesn't irritate me when I work out. I'm not overly sweaty either when I work out um, and I don't smell. So it's really been working out for me. I've really been enjoying it. I'm still getting used to that wet feel. I feel like if you're used to using like a gel type deodorant, it would be an easy switch. Like I can't use even like Suave or Dove or anything like that, like a gel deodorant because I don't like that wet feeling. So that is the only thing that I'm still getting used to, but I like the scent. I don't smell. I have zero irritation. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a nice switch. I've been enjoying it. And yeah, I didn't have any of that crazy irritation or reaction like I did to Native. Um, so if you are looking to making the switch to a natural deodorant, start with Kapari. Um, if you haven't tried one yet, cause I've been really enjoying it. It's been, it's been a little bit of an adjustment, but I, I don't stink. I don't sweat profusely and, um, I don't have any irritation. So win, win. The last few things that I purchased from Ulta are the Tony Moly sheet masks. I enjoy these. It's been a while since I've had them. So I got moisturizing it's the aloe one i got the i'm lavender hydrating mask the i'm red wine pore care and the i'm avocado nutrition so i'll probably use one of those tonight i had run completely out of my sheet masks and i was at ulta so i just decided to get them i'm not married to a sheet mask there's multiple ones that i like tony moly the sephora brand the neutrogena uh what is it the hydro the hydro mask is really good too so oh and the pharmacy ones from sephora tatcha ones are pretty good too so i kind of just rotate ones out depending on what store i'm shopping at to be honest so um those are beauty things i want to move on to a little fashiony things um i want to start with these earrings i'm going to zoom you guys in so i've been loving the mini huggy hoops and these ones right here if i can get it to focus I probably can't get it to focus, but these little cross ones, these are claw, call, these are clawed. These are called the Glory Hoop and they are by HRH Collection. Um, HRH Collection, there's a YouTube channel for Alex. Um, she lives in California and it's her jewelry line. Um, she's definitely not gonna be for everybody. She um, spews a lot of profanity, but I think she's hilarious. I don't watch all of her videos, but I love her jewelry. I love these little glory hoops. She's got small, medium, and large. You can buy single earring. You can buy a set. 
Um, but I have been loving like the little mini huggy hoops. It's been like a signature thing. You guys know I love hoops. I love big hoops. I love little hoops. Um, and then I love like the little charms on them. So I want to get back on there and order another pair of of mini hoops with another charm because I love her jewelry. It's very, very good quality and it's she hand makes everything. Um, I really love her stuff and they've my stuff from hers held up really, really well. So um, I wanted to mention those because I've been wearing them a lot and I just love them. They're super comfortable. I want to share some fashion -y things. So this top that I'm wearing, let me stand up, is the Thread and Supply shirt from Nordstrom that I wanted during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but it was sold out, came back in stock. I tried to order it again and then they canceled my order. So I had to wait to purchase it after the sale. Um, but this shirt is literally everything I wanted and more. Um, it's really oversized. I'm wearing a size small. I definitely probably could have gotten an extra small, but I love the oversized look. I'm wearing it with jeans today, but it is going to be absolute perfection. Let me pull it out for leggings in the fall and the winter. It'll be super cute, opened up with a little cami or something underneath it, but it's super long in the back. My, I always like to tuck the front end too. Even when I'm wearing leggings, I like to tuck the front end. These shirts are my absolute favorite shirts to wear in the fall and the winter. I may be in the minority on this, but I think these shirts are really sexy and casual. They're so comfortable, they're buttery soft. I love them with a good pair of skinny jeans. I love them with a good legging. I love my Zella leggings. Um, also, I don't really like to wear these with the Spanx leggings because the Spanx leggings are kind of shiny. And um, they, I think that they just look a little strange with these casual tops. But with my Zella leggings, with a good pair of denim, I love these shirts. So I had no problem paying full price because they're amazing. So I want to get another color. I love this color because it reminds me of the um, Damier Azor from Louis Vuitton. It's like that same kind of color. It's like light, pretty blue. So I got this one and then I want to show you the Houston shirt, the black and white kind of like buffalo plaid that I got from this brand as well. So hold on a sec. I'm not going to try it on, but this is it. It's, uh, it's just as buttery soft as the one that I'm wearing. Um, but I love the black and the white. Love the black and the white. So I am really, really happy with these shirts. They retail for $49, which I don't think is bad for the quality and how they feel. They're so soft. They're the perfect length. Um, and then with this one, I was going to say, I leave the little button opened up. I, I like the super low. And then I wear like a pretty, like sexy little lacy bra so that if it does show a little bit, um, I just think it's super sexy. I Love it so much, um, but I love these tops. If you have not checked them out yet, highly recommend. I'll um, link them down below along with everything else that I am mentioning. So, oh, I'll mention too, um, Bath & Body Works had a sale on their um, three wick candles this past weekend and their fall scents are out and you girl had to get some. Okay, so I have one burning in the background and it's sweater weather. I just got like my favorite scents. I'm not the biggest fan of like the food scents. I don't particularly want my house to smell like a pumpkin cheesecake, but I love the cologne ones. Um, so I'm going to share with you some of my faves. So sweater weather is one of my faves. I always get those. Flannel is another one. I love flannel. Leaves, had to get me a leaves. Um, what is this one? Marshmallow Fireside. This is the only like foodie one I guess that I like. I got another flannel. It's one of my favorite scents. And then this one is leaves again. So I got two leaves, sweater weather, marshmallow fireside, and what was it? Flannel? I don't know. But those are some of my favorite scents. There's another one that I like. I like mahogany teakwood, but mahogany teakwood, I'm pretty sure they have all year long. There's another one that I really like, but I can't remember what the name of it is. And I walked around the store thinking like, oh, I'll see the name and it'll, you know, come to me. That didn't happen. I didn't see it. So, um, but yeah, those are some of my favorite, favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. I, I love their fall and winter scents. I don't really care for the spring and the summer scents. Um, I love that cologne sexy man smell. And I just want my house to smell like that all year long. So I definitely need to make sure every time they have a sale that I buy like six candles 
each time so that I get a nice little collection so that they last me a long time. But oh, I just love the Bath and Body Works candles. Love them. I wanna talk about another little random clothing item from Nordstrom and it's a bra. So this is the Notori bra that I purchased during the anniversary sale. I think this is the, I don't remember what it's called to be honest, but um, I have the feathers one and then this is the other one that I got. It's just a little bit more of like a t-shirt style. It is so comfortable. It is so comfortable. I love my feathers bra. This one is so incredibly comfortable. I can't get over how comfortable an underwire bra could possibly get, but I'm definitely convinced that Notori is my favorite bra brand. It's just so comfortable. I absolutely love it. And I love how they always have like a sexy little bit of a lace detail on them. Um, I love that. It's, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just makes you feel a little sexy when you wear something pretty under your clothes. So. I think that's it for new and kind of favorite -y things that I've been loving lately. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and share with you really quickly my makeup of the day and then we'll wrap up the video. So my mornings are super hectic now, getting the kids up and ready for school. So I didn't really do much to my face this morning initially when I woke up. I just kind of washed my face with some warm water and then I put on the Summer Fridays jet lag mask and this is what I used as my moisturizer today. So um, I have this on underneath my makeup. And then for um, primer, I used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I used the Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation. I used the Becca Under Eye Corrector as my concealer primer. And then I used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've kind of just been going through my makeup collection and pulling out things that I haven't used in a while. Speaking of makeup collection, I need to do a declutter pretty badly. To set my under eyes and my powder contour, I used the Shade and Light palette, the light one from Kat Von D, and then the Translucent Honey from Laura Mercier as my all over face powder. I used the NARS, uh, not the NARS, the Urban Decay Brow Blade as my brow product today for bronzer today i used the laura mercier baked bronzer and bronze 02 i used quite a bit of laura mercier today actually i used blush highlight and finishing powder from laura mercier the blush that i'm wearing is this one it's in the shade chai i used highlight 01 from laura mercier as my highlighter it's the matte the matte radiance baked powder as my highlight today and then finishing powder i used the candle glow powder from laura mercier definitely laura mercier heavy today this is the uh, candle glow shade one love this as a finishing powder so i've been mixing a lot of my natasha denona palettes for eyeshadows which makes me wish that she would come out with single shadows, especially since all of her palettes, you can pop the shadows out. I wish she would come out with single shadows. So I used a couple shades from the Glam palette today. I used the shade Blend as my transition shade, Inner Corner as my Inner Corner highlight, and Brow Bone as my Brow Bone highlight. And then I went into Biba and I used two shades in here. I used Freckle and Cocoa for my crease and my outer corner. And then for lid shade, I used my RMS Solar Shadow. This is a must have. You have to have this eyeshadow. It is so, so good. The perfect everyday bronzy lid shade. I used this Maybelline Hyper Easy Liquid Eyeliner to um, line my upper lash line and create my wing. The Benefit Give Me Brow Brow Gel and then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara. I have been loving this mascara. It is so good. I used the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist as my setting spray. And then this lip combo I'm loving so much. Um, I'm using the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade number four. I think this is four natural. Yeah, all natural. I'll swatch all of these so you can see all of them together. And then I mixed lipsticks. I used Charlotte Tilbury 
JK Magic first. And then on top of JK Magic, I used Becca's Bear, which I love this lipstick. And um, the shades, the lipstick shades are very, are pretty similar. Just one is more of a peachy nude and one is a pinker. Um, but these are all three of them together. So I did lip liner first, JK Magic, and then topped with Becca's Bear, which gave me this really pretty, like, a little bit more of like a medium toned pinky nude, but I love it. I feel like it makes my lips look really thick and juicy. So that is my makeup for today. I think that that is gonna be it for today's video. I'm sorry if the lighting has been changing throughout the video. It's pretty overcast today and the sun keeps coming in and out. So my lighting has been changing a little bit. Oh, another random favorite, these mugs from Hearth and Hand at Target. They're the best. Also, the International Delight Pumpkin Creamer is out. Pumpkin Spice Creamer. But yeah, back to this mug. These mugs are super thick. When you, okay, I'm the type of person, I, I reheat my coffee like 18 times in the morning because I'm constantly doing things and it takes me forever to drink a cup. These mugs are so good that when you reheat them in the microwave, they don't feel like they came from the depths of hell and they don't get super hot, which is great. I hate it. When you heat your coffee with a mug and the mug gets so hot that it's tough to take out of the microwave because it's too hot. This one does not do that, so I love that. Random, I know, but love a good mug. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun sitting down and chatting with you guys. I have, how much longer do I have? Lainey's only doing school half a day this week. She starts her lunch bunch next week where she stays through lunch. So I have an hour before I need to leave to pick her up. So I'm gonna throw on a show, make a little lunch, eat a hot meal, and then go pick up my kids. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has been a long time since I've sat down and just had a fun little chit chat video sharing new products and favorites and things like that. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll try to link as much as I can down below for you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.